Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make Rainbow Brights sprites. I know they look like they came out a lot larger than her, but I think they're so cute, and I really like the size. And so, let's get started with telling you what you're going to need for today. So for today, you will need two colors, one for the middle of the face. You'll need more than two colors, but the main colors are the middle of the face, and the outside. So you're going to choose which sprite you're going to make. This is Rainbow Bright Sprite, this is Twink, this is Champ, and today I'm going to make OJ with you. He's orange. And before we get started, I just wanted to tell you and show you that I couldn't decide how to make the face with you, so I'm going to give you the chance to choose how you want the face while we're looming. If you can tell on this sprite, he has the two light blue bands going down over here and over here, whereas over here I added the fuzz or the fur to the side to give him more of a cheeky look. Again, your choice if you want, if you don't mind that square shaped face or if you want him to have more of a rounder face. It's your choice. I am going to be adding cheeks, which I did not add here, but I added one here as an example. This comes off. It's just put on just to see what it would look like, and I think it's going to look cute. So again, that's also optional. You don't have to add the cheeks. So let me tell you what you're going to need as far as supplies. You're going to need 116 bands for the main color, the outside fuzzy part. And so for today, for OJ, you're going to need 116 um, of the dark orange. For the face color, you will need 24. You can use Rainbow Loom's Glitter Orange, the light color. That way it's light and then the outside is darker so there's a contrast. Or you can even use skin bands for the face. It's your choice. So 24 for the face, 116 for the outside color, 18 yellow for the antennae, and 22 red for the hands and the the arms and the feet and then just six probably of the little bands for the legs of each color I'm not going to count them because there's there's only like two of each so it doesn't make any sense to and optional is to use a tiny pony bead for the eyes and a little bit of a larger pony bead for the nose. If you don't have pony beads, I will just show you how to make them with a rubber band during um, the looming and that's not a problem. So let's get started with making all the pieces for the sprite. And I began by placing one antennae on my loom and then I'll show you how to do the next one. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab black bands, and I should have told you, we'll need black bands. You don't have to make this part black. You can make that the same color as your sprite to match. That's your choice. I'm using black. So you can take a single black band and you're going to wrap it around and you're going to place it. And then you're going to take another black band and place it here. And then another black band. And now you can use yellow, you can use metallic yellow, um, opaque, it doesn't matter which type, you can use, if you have glitter, take a yellow band, wrap it around itself, place one here, one here, again these are all capped bands. And then here and then take a, another band that's capped and place it from here to here then take a single yellow and you're going to cap that off by wrapping it around four times so I've already made one and then this is the one I made with you if you want to pause the video and make the other one you can do that as well. You're going to reach under the caps band and just grab the top two bands that you see and you're going to loop it forward. Reach in again, grabbing the next set of caps bands, looping it to the left or to the right, depending on the direction that yours is going. Reach in here. Grab these two, loop to the middle, 
and same with these two, loop to the middle. And then you're just going to reach in and grab all those black bands and just loop the black bands forward. So that is one antennae and you're just going to remove it slowly. And if you have a spare hook, it's probably a good idea to place them on a spare hook so that it doesn't come undone because it is a capped band. And I'm going to do the second one now. Just loop it forward. If you have a bead, you can use a bead too for his little antennae. If you have a star bead. I didn't have one, I have regular just round beads. And I think I have a heart bead, but I guess that would have looked cute. So this is your pieces and then you can place them to the side. So I'm gonna do that now. And then the next step is we're going to just make his um, arms. The arms are very easy. You just can use double red and go down three times and then cap it. So double red, go down two, three times and then cap it, wrapping around four times. And then again, double red. Wrap it around, one, two, three, four, and then just loop. And then just place this to the side. And I am going to transfer these onto this other hook. If you have a double-ended uh, double hook, that is good because when we have to add the little fuzzies, you want to add a whole bunch of cat fans. But if you don't, it doesn't matter. So now we have made the antennae, the hands. We're not going to make the feet because the feet we can make on the loom. And we're just going to begin uh, making the spray. So I'm going to be grabbing my outside color. So if you're making twink, then you're going to be grabbing your white and then you would make the face color skin. I'm going to grab the dark color, place two here. And this is going to be his fur area. Now I'm switching to the color of his face. So I'm going to place the two bands from here to here, which is going to be this part here. And I'm using Rainbow Loom's glitter, and it's a lighter orange. Hopefully it will look nice. And if you're not comfortable with using a lighter color, you think it's going to not look as neat, then you can, oh, you can use a skin color. So we did that. So now you're going to now, this is what I was talking about before. You have the choice now to either put two dark orange bands on this side and this side. If you don't mind the squarish of the face, the look, you're just going to continue with the skin band colors. If you don't mind these bands over here, where you feel like it makes his face a little smaller and shaped nicer, then you're going to add two bands that are the color of his fur. So today I'm going to put the color of his fur. So just in case you're confused, if you want the squarish look, if you want it to look like this sprite, you're going to, after that crisscross, you're going to go down one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with the same color for his face. If you don't, you're going to use the orange, which is gonna be the, if you're making 
twink, you would do the white, and then two skin bands, the white, and then two skin bands. Hopefully you understood that. So I'm going to do that. So I did the main color of his fur. Now I'm going to switch back to the color of his face and go down twice. And hopefully the light orange is light enough that it doesn't blend in. So these are face colors. So this is face color, fur color, face, 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 face color. And in the middle, go down three times using his face color. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to switch back to the fur color. So for me, it's dark orange. For you, if you were making twink, you would be making white. Take two again and close it and close it and now we're going to make the legs so I'm going to grab my bands for the legs so for the legs I'm going to start with teal you can use green or you can use any three colors you want so I'm starting with teal and then I'm going to switch to neon yellow these are by rainbow loom I think I just said rainbow room. And then orange. And then I'm going to switch to three reds. And this is going to be the foot. And another three reds. And then once you have placed the three reds on both sides, these were all double bands. These are three. Then you're just going to cap it. Wrapping it around four, and the same thing on this side. Now we're going to add the eyes and the nose now before we add the extension. So for the eyes and the nose, I'm just going to use two pony beads for the eyes and a larger pony bead if you can see the size difference for the nose. If you don't have a pony bead, you can take a black band, wrap it around your hook four times. Again, a black band, wrap around your hook four times. Transfer this onto the band that matches your face color. Pull it down. Same thing here, and you're placing it from here to here, which is one, two, the third peg. You're going to separate the eyes, open it up, and place one band resting above this peg and the other band resting below it. And that's going to be your eyes. And for your nose, you're going to grab red bands. And what you can do if you want your nose to be a little thicker like and sticking out, you can take one band, wrap it around your hook four times, take another band, and you can tie it around itself, transfer that, collect the other band, and then take a skit, um, the band that matches your face color and, and slide that through. And then your nose would go from here to here. However, because we want the nose when we loom it to rest on the second, so one, two, three, one in the middle, we are going to bring the nose resting above this peg like this. So the bands are going on one, two, three, four, the fourth peg, but we're resting the nose above the one, two, three, fourth peg on this side. 
So I'm going to now just undo that because I am using a bead and I just slide the band through, put it from here to here, rest the nose above. And then remove these and just slide the band through. Same thing though, if you're using beads, you separate them and place one band resting above. Don't worry so much if the bead is sliding because we can always push it once it's been loomed. You just still want the band resting above this peg though. So now you finish that part, you've added the legs, you've added the eyes, the nose, now we're going to add the extension. So push all these bands down and you're going to be grabbing your orange bands. Or if you're making twink, you're going to be grabbing your white bands. So it's the main color, the fuzzy part. So you're going to take two orange bands, place it there, another two, another, And another. So we place one, two, three, four, five, six. All together we place six overlapping orange bands. Then take a single and on that sixth one, cap it only three times. So only wrap it around three. Do the same thing on this time, on this side. Go down six times. <coughs> and then cap it around only three times with the cap band. So don't forget to cap that there only three times. And now you're going to grab your arms and you're going to place it on one, two, three, four, five, the fifth peg from the top. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side from the top. You can't down five pegs. And then you can grab the antennae and place it on the very top pegs. So just look over to make sure that you have these on the top. And one, two, three, four, five, going down, you have the hands. You should have made the feet, I mean the legs already. And we haven't looped it and now what we're going to do is we're going to loop the outer layer but before we do that we're going to place um, triangle bands so on this one here so it's one two three four five six seven eight from the bottom peg to the top is eight if you're using a different loom it might be different so you should count from the top one two three four five six place that first triangle band where the hands are place the triangle band and now you're switching to the color of your face, otherwise it's going to show through. I did it with the other sprite and I had to redo it because you can see it. Choose the color of your face, place a triangle band there, the color of the face, and a triangle band there. Actually, if I were you, I would undo this orange one and actually put the skin band there too, the color of the face. So you should have a dark orange or your main color of your fur would be here. And then the color of the face, color of the face, color of the face, triangle bands. So four triangle bands all together. So now once you have done that, we can loop the outer layer. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to push on the triangle band, I mean the um, cap band that we wrapped around three times. Grab the top two and I just looped it for a second because I forgot that we have to add the fur. And that's the most important part. And per loop, you add two cap bands. So that's two. So I'm just gonna undo that for a second and slide down two. Two capped bands. And I'm gonna do that again. Add two 
and you can add multiple on your hook so that you don't have to keep adding two. If you add too many, they do get tangled though. So push back this triangle band in here and you're grabbing these two orange bands here at the top. So grab the top two and while it's still on your hook, you slide down two. Two sets. Push the triangle band back and the arm and grab those two dark orange bands. For you, if you made twink, it would be white. And slide down the capped bands. Let me add another two. Same thing here, reach in for that double orange band, slide down two sets, and loop. Same thing here, grab these two orange bands, and slide down two, and then loop. And I just have one more here. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to add some capped bands. So you're going to, again, reach in where that capped band is. It should only be wrapped around three times. Grab the top two orange bands and slide down two sets of capped bands and loop. And then the next set, grab the top two. You want to make sure you're only grabbing the top two. That's one set and the second. And then the arms, so you're pushing that triangle band back and the red bands grabbing the top two orange, slide down and loop, and doing the same thing all the way to the top. And then the last. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this top layer and place it and pop it off and place it to the side. And what you want to remember is that you are not removing these. This is the capped band. You're not touching this from these pegs right here. That must remain on your peg and definitely not removing the top two right here. So the, the top and the bottom must stay on the peg. We're gonna start off by grabbing the second set, and this is the, this is the bottom, you're not touching this, you're touching these, the ones that are capped. I mean the ones that are looped, and you're going to take your finger, pop it up, and over to the side. So this is the second set, and now go to the next one, because this one already came off. Pop it up, and yes, the arm is supposed to come off, so don't get nervous. Pop it up, there goes the arm, and place it over to the side. So you can see that this is the cap, the triangle band, triangle band, triangle band, and as if I push it like this, I mean I pull on it, you can see them. And that should be resting on the outside. And then the last one I'm popping off is this one right here, the one that's on this peg but you're not removing the one that's on this peg, so just be careful. So I'm popping this last one off and placing it over to the side. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side, remembering not to remove this one and not to remove this one. 
grab the second one, pop it up and over, and now pinch this one, pop it up, and that's okay if the other one's popped off, that's fine as long as they lay right. You want them to look like triangle bands. And then finally this last one that's right here, and pop it up and over. And again, not removing the one on this peg. So once you feel comfortable that you've done that correctly, just give it once over and make sure that your triangle bands are not laying like this. You want them resting correctly where this band is resting underneath two pegs and this single one is resting above it. So if it's like this, you're going to correct it. So this one is laying correctly, this one's fine, this one's fine, and this one's fine. And then the nose, that's fine as long as that band is resting above. So now we're going to grab the bottom of the feet underneath the cap and we're going to loop. So you just loop the green and stop and do the same thing under here. Reach underneath the cap, loop forward. Start grabbing your kept bands. Place two on your hook, or four, however many you're comfortable with before they get tangled. So I'm just going to place four for now. And you're not touching the bottom. You're, touch you're grabbing the middle band right here, so you're gonna reach in and you're picking up the first two orange bands and sliding two sets down and then looping it to the middle. Same thing here, you're not touching the bottom set, you're grabbing these two that are right here. So reach in, and if you have a hard time figuring how to get it, you can just pull with your finger like this and it will move and you can just grab it. And then just slide down the other two and you're going to loop to the middle. So we loop the top two orange bands to the middle. We have not touched the cap bands, they're still there. And now we have to grab the remaining two bands on the bottom. So grab another two or four cap bands. So two on this side and two on that side. Reach in under the cap, grab the bottom two Pull it up, slide down, and loop. Same thing on this side. Reach underneath, grab the bottom two, and slide down. And then loop to the peg above. I'm just going to take this off to relieve the tightness of the legs. Place it to the side. So now, we're going to not forget the middle. Without the middle, it will fall apart. Grab two capped bands. Reach in here. Push all these bands back. And make sure that you're definitely grabbing the bottom two and not the sides. So when you pull up, you should see that on the, these two in the back are being pulled. And then slide down. And then just continue to add capped bands. Reach in here, grab the bottom two, slide two sets down. And in here, grab these two, slide two sets down. Reach in the middle and slide two sets. Now we should, you should have reached the lighter band, which is for the face. This is where you would add the cheek if you're interested in the cheek. If you're not, then you just skip this part. I'm going to make the skin band, I mean the band that matches my face, and wrap it around three times. And then another and wrap it around three. I'm going to grab this set and slide down the three 
and loop it. Same thing on this side for the cheek. Slide this set of three and loop. And then you're just going to loop the middle. So we loop the middle. These two, we added the little cheeks. And now the next thing is reach in here. This is the, you have the triangle band and don't forget that you also have this little eye band here. You wanna push all that back, grab the bottom two. You wanna make sure you're definitely pushing those back and loop forward. Same thing here, pushing all those bands back, grabbing the two skin bands and looping forward. Loop the middle. And then you're going to push these back. And loop the orange. And if it's dark, then it needs two cap bands. So let me just add two cap bands. If yours matches your face, then don't worry about yours. But I'm going to undo that one and add my capped bands. And I'm going to reach in here. Let me add my cap bands on that one too. Pushing all those bands back, grabbing these two, slide down and loop. And then we're going to loop these two in the middle, forward. And now you're going to reach in here and you should have the face color. Grab those top two face color and loop it to the middle. And the same thing here, these two, and loop to the middle. Grab some more capped bands. So that we can add to the top. Reach in here, grab these two orange. Slide down two sets and loop. Same thing here, two sets and loop. Reach in the middle, pushing the face bands back, two sets and loop. Push back the antennae, grab the two orange bands and loop. And then the last set, pushing all these bands back, grabbing the bottom two, slide them down and loop. So I'm going to grab two orange bands to close it off with. Take your hook, go through all the bands, slide them through, bring it to the top. And if you want to make the slip knot now, you can. Sometimes I like to pull it off and then adjust the slip knot at the end, but it's your choice. I'm going to leave it on and pull him off slowly. So now I have to adjust the nose and he needs to go to the middle. He looks really cute actually. You can adjust the cheeks. And then the feet, you can face them sideways so that you can see that they're feet. And he looks, I think, adorable actually. And then you can just adjust the slip knot. What you can do also, if you wanted to, if you did not create the slip knot, you still have it on your hook. You can do what I did actually the other day. You can take, if you're brave, place the slip knot on your finger, add another two cap bands, and on the front two, these two, you can slide down two more fuzzies just to make him extra fuzzy on the top of his head. Then take the slip knot and then you can close it off. That way he has extra fuzzies. I think he came out really, really sweet. 
and it kind of looks like he has eyebrows I don't mind it at all it's your choice again if you want him to have the square face or the old manish eyebrow face I don't know I just think he's so cute like that and what I did for this sprite is I added cap bands over the legs to make it more round you don't have to do that but if you want to this is what I did I just added a cap opened it up and placed it over the color that matched so the next one would be yellow and an orange same thing green yellow orange just give it more of that round look that the sprites have adjust the fluff take your hook go through the fluff pull it up that way he's extra fluffy And again, if you did not like the eyebrow look, you can always tear it off, or next time you make it, you can just make that the same as this, just all square. But I just think like when it's all square, it looks like a TV a little. This one looks really cute. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're able to make it, and I hope I made sense. And if you make them, please show me on Instagram. You can show me on Twitter and on my Facebook page on Marloom's Creations, and I'd love to see them. And thank you so much.